What's up, people? We have an all-star cast. Woo! Uh, a very themed Coco themed Holly Hollywood, <laughs> to be specific, from the Grand Circle Tour co- podcast, and her co-star George. You've seen him before. <laughs> And I like that you're my co-star. <laughs> I'm the co-star. <laughs> and the Orange Grove, Chris. You've seen him. <laughs> um, and he has some new cool Mickey bed sheets. Check those out. <laughs> Go on, shop. Yeah, I, I, I thought I was going to be the only one coming on here with something new. My new baby Yoda shirt. And then he, just had a, he had a he had a pull out the linens. <laughs> <laughs> And see, my room is boring, so I have to hide it with a virtual background. <laughs> but alas. So, Universal and Disney. Disney opened their reservation system, I think, today for certain people. Um, Chris has a lot of thoughts on this reservation system because it crashed. Yeah. Or Universal has no reservation system. Disney does. What do you think? Uh, well, for, for me, I, I just I feel like, um, and I did, I did a video on this the other day, you know, I'm not a big fan of reservation systems overall. I, I was kind of against the whole boarding pass thing with Rise of the Resistance, and I, I'm kind of equally against this. It, it just it's more of a hassle than it's worth. I think like I'm maybe I'm just old school. I, I just want to go to the park and wait in line right. and to do it that way, get there early and just do it that way. Um, the the whole reservation system it never really it never really works out. It's always an issue. It's always like it either hits capacity and no one can get in after like the first five minutes or, you know, it keeps crashing or there's always a problem with it, you know? And I just feel like Universal, they were kind of smart to avoid all that. You know, they, they tell you, you know, you know, it's limited capacity, wear a mask, social distance, end of story clean cut simple and easy right. and i wish disney would just do the same thing you know i mean I, I i don't know that's just my thing and i know a lot of people love these we, reservation systems but i'm not a fan right we knew that the disney site was going to crash like it was guaranteed and sure enough it's opened at seven and what 702 it was already people <laughs> yeah. were already like it's crashed we can't get through we can't reach anybody on the phones. I've been on the phone for two hours and we're like, well, we don't think you can do it on the phone anyhow. But so, yeah, I mean, we knew that Stitch was going to eat the page. He always eats the page. Um, <laughs> I mean, Stitch. little Stitch. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. It's just, it's crazy that it's always the same issues. That. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I completely agree, Holly. And the thing too is like for Disneyland Resort, it's like, okay, for what, what about the people that have like, um, like the signature passes with no blockout dates, you know? And now if you try to reserve a date and you, you can't get in, flex pass. yeah, I mean, that's basically <laughs> a blockout date at that point. So why right. pay the $1,500 a year if you can't get in every day that you were promised? You know, it's just kind of, I don't know. It's just well, weird. this is this is the issue that I'm going through right now because I have the Premier Passport, which allows me to go in for Disney World and Disneyland. Well, being that right now, both resorts aren't on the same page right now. While well, Disney World <laughs> already knows when they're opening, Disneyland has a proposed date, which I received an email this morning, and it said, "Great news for <laughs> Disney." Too. And I thought, "Oh, we got the answer," and it said. It has a proposed plan for <laughs> July 17th. We're like, give us some new like, we knew this. <laughs> it's like, we knew this. Give me something else here. I know. My, my heart dropped into my pinky toe when I saw that email. Yeah. I'm like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nothing new. It was, it was nothing new. It was the same thing. And I, I'm, I'm like going back and forth because Disney World's telling me to call Disneyland. Disneyland's telling me to call Disney World because they're not synchronized to when because I had uh, opted for the uh, the partial refund. So being that I have the Premier Passport, and they say, oh, when the parks end up reopening, that will determine from the time of closure to reopening. Well, being that Disney World and Disneyland are going to have two different openings, are they doing separate refunds? Is uh, it going to just wait? I think it's going to be weird. Open? Yeah, and even for reservations for you, how the heck? I mean, what if? Yeah. What if one week you're like, oh, I'm going to Disney World, and you have some airline miles, and the next week you want to yeah. go to Disneyland? How exactly. is that? 
How that's is that going to work? Because you can only hold reservations and maybe you oh, can't afford to stay and then, at and then on with, site both times. And then just with annual, now what I find out now, Hollywood Studios right now is completely full. <laughs> when you said Hollywood, I thought you were talking about Hollywood. <laughs> 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 she's booked she's booked up for the rest of the, for the, rest of the time, but you're not gonna be able to get it get to her <laughs> uh for Hollywood Studios, it's completely booked for july 15th the first oh. day it opens so now they don't know is that mean did it hit capacity for everyone in general or is that just for the people that have the resort hotels because oh, yeah. and annual, pass, oh, annual pass holders <laughs> didn't even get a, a jab at it yet not till the 26th Wow, so, that is I'm true. thinking mm -mm. we're only allotted three park passes. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you have an annual pass and you're not staying on property, that's all you get. Right. So if I really wanted to go down to Disney World for five or six days and I'm not staying on property and I can't even get a hotel reservation because they're not doing it, I could only get three out of those six days to go yeah. into the parks. Terrible. But yet, but yet, I pay almost twenty five hundred dollars for oh. a premier passport. So it's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's the problem. That that's the problem that I'm having with this reservation system. And I think this is why Universal opted not to do it. You know, you're. I think they they had the like. I think Universal was in in this in this way. I think they were way smarter with handling this whole reopen because, like, yeah, it, this this reservation system creates a lot of problems. You know, it creates probably more problems than, than, than even need to be. Like, if they were just to reopen the parks and have it first come, first serve, I don't know. I, I think that would be a much better uh, way to go about it. I, I think the reservation system leads to a lot of other auxiliary issues that, yeah. that are Everyone's kind of so panicked. Right? It's Everyone's funny, panicked to it's get funny in. say that, Chris, because of how Disneyland does it, because it's a local park. When you go through the first set of security before you even reach the, the gates to whether you want to go to Disneyland, California Adventure, or Downtown Disney, that's where they should start the counting system. As yeah. people line up and go in, start counting it for how many people they want to get access into there. Right. As you said, first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Then just close the security down and no one goes beyond that point. Well, because well, unless you know, people leave, then they can maybe start letting other people. Yeah, they can win. make like an out right. and mm -hmm. wait in line or something. Yeah, I mean, and Universal Florida, I mean, they're a very popular resort. It's not like this is some like local, like unknown, like whatever park. I right. mean, Universal Florida is a massively, massively popular resort, and they're not having any issues with like people being upset that they're not getting in or mm -hmm. you know. They're managing just fine. I, I can't imagine that Disney wouldn't manage the same if they were just to implement the same system. I, no, I don't know. No, what I'm not scares me okay. is that they're still saying that we're going to keep doing this till June of next year, right? Oh that reservations God. are still. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, or, or, I, yeah. So no, my the husband went to the, the reservation system is until September 26th of 2021. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's even worse. I know. And oh then once we God. heard that it's only three days and we're local. So it's not like we're going to be staying at the Disneyland hotel. So my husband's like, well, maybe we should just cancel our passes. What if we only get a go one more time? Right. I'm like, I, I don't know. So do you have an annual pass, Chris? I do. I have okay. I have the signature um, oh, yeah, plus exactly. one with no blackout days. And now, okay. if I make a reservation, <laughs> How about I right deny. now? Let's not even just call it signature plus. Let's just let's call, call it plus basic pack. tickets. <laughs> yeah. We all got basic tickets right now. Right? I it's know. A, well, see, plus, and plus. That's, that's unfair for you because you spent a fortune. Mm -hmm. And I have the cheapest pass possible because we're a family of six. And now we're kind of in the same boat. I mean, obviously right. I have less days of opportunity to try to get, but you're in this same little queue as me. And it's, it, it sucks. Like for yeah. you, you know, for me, it's, the, the money it's, that I put out, I should be LeBron's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. You should be like that Iger, the Iger plus pass where you get yeah. any day you want. <laughs> So now I actually posted a, a message up on the uh, 
the GCT messages. And I want to know if you guys know, because Holly, I think you saw it, was that, do you, do you guys hear anything about Disneyland doing? Like, what are their implements for, like, how many park yeah, reservations I read do you have as locals? And then also, it, does that also proclaim that if you're staying at not only a Disney hotel, but does that go for the Good Neighbor hotels? Yeah, I don't know about the Good Neighbor. That's a good question. But they said that they're going to mirror Walt Disney World's reservation system. So, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how that's working for Good Neighbor. Um, yeah. That's because, I mean, there's not that many options, obviously. And a lot of people have to use the Good Neighbor. So, see, and that should gonna, be. That is going to hurt you guys because you're all the locals at Disneyland. So, mm-hmm. if they have all the rooms booked up between the three hotel or the two hotels that are going to, are all, all three of them opening up at the same no. time? Just two. No. Just the two. two. Yeah. Okay. So if all the rooms are going to be booked up at the same time. And then if you guys have certain days that allot you to go, but you're only at three, right. you know, is it? Yeah. That's the question of the day. <laughs> and then the other question I want to know, and maybe you guys already know, know this answer are we able to book i mean obviously it's only three days but are we able to book all the way until september of next year are people already booking that far far in advance as far as i know with Hmm. with disney world i I know from today up until september 26th i believe it's open is opened for whoever already had a reservation then on yeah. the 26th, annual pass holders. And then on June 28th is regular ticket holders that already have tickets. And then starting that day, no, I'm sorry, June 28th is when you can start booking vacation packages for 2021. Okay. And then after that, during midsummer, if there's any tickets left over, they're going to sell the remaining for 2020. So essentially, they're working backwards. Yeah. You know, and it, isn't it, I, I think it's really, I think they really dropped the ball when it comes to the hotel reservations. Like if you have a hotel reservation, the park reservations should come with that hotel. Yeah, reservation. yeah. For yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems ridiculous that you have to make two reservations and then if they don't, yeah. consult, don't, 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 don't match, then you have to cancel your hotel reservations. It's yeah, like losing money yeah. that way. It's, it's that's everything. way too much stress. I don't yeah. even know why they even, they're, they're calling this vacation packages for 2021, but I don't even know why they would even call it that because you need a reservation literally for every single thing that you're booking. Right. Now, I don't know how universal is, but I saw um, on YouTube, someone did a vlog that they went for breakfast at Topolina Terrace at the Riviera Resort and everything was digital to literally check themselves in they did it on their phone. There was no one at the, the reception desk. And then the menu was digital. So they give you this little card with a with a barcode thing on it, and you scan it with your phone, and yeah. you literally have the menu on your phone. A lot of but places like, are doing that. Everything yeah. is now di- – and I always thought, you know, going to Disney, I like to stay off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. It's Not your anymore. lifeline. So yeah. Is that how Universal does it? Do they do like um, the, the digital code for the I menu? I feel like they probably would, but I do know, at least in Orlando, <laughs> they have, uh, you know, hotels too, but it's certainly not as many steps as whatever you just explained. I forgot everything <laughs> you just said. But you said <laughs> and I think Universal, they don't, it's no, you just kind of the same, you just kind of walk in for the reservation, you make a reservation, you walk in and you just go to the, you know, it's like a, yeah, just, like a just, normal, just like save a yourself some time, Ethan, and just say whatever you just said. Yeah, that's what Universal. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you just said, Universal's uh, doing the opposite. Not, yeah, <laughs> the, the opposite thing. they're not doing. Yeah, and they seem to be doing just fine. But it's June fifth, it's been three weeks. I, yeah. I said, it, I said it before, and I'll say it again. The way Disney is approaching it, it's like Common Core math. They're taking <laughs> right for the same yeah. answer. <laughs> Well, well, and even when, even last year, you know, for 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 an example, last year when Disney implemented this whole reservation system drama for the Galaxy's Edge opening, 
Oh, it kind of bit them in the in the rear end when because then it like then it like it overcomplicated it and made it more of an issue and nobody showed up. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, man, I, I don't know why they don't learn their lesson and just kind of just like even Universal when they opened Hagrid's, they didn't care about any of that. They just opened it up, you know. Mm-hmm. And it kind of, I mean, I you know, I know Hagrid's like has its issues with operating and working and everything but in terms of like the the optics it actually looked better because Hagrid's had like three and four hour and five hour waits while Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was completely empty because no one wanted to deal with the reservation system you know and it's like I just wish Disney would just kind of like lay off the reservation systems (laughs) let people come first come first serve and kind of let it play out that way you know that's what I said just open open as normal wear your mask have right. hand washing stations, hand sanitizer, clean, yeah. clean, clean, open as normal. Like this is, I mean, like I said, Chris, this is who we're going off of from Grand Circle Tour. She just had to do all this stuff today. And she was, she's like, I got to start drinking now because <laughs> it's been such a nightmare today. Yeah. Trying to ch- get my hotel changed, get the reservations. <laughs> and now like, and she's like, well, now where am I eating? Because now they can't even do dining yet. So that's all up in the air too. Um, and that's the other thing crazy. with Walt Disney World is if you had a dining reservation just to say at Be Our Guest on July 27th and you end up with a reservation that Magic Kingdom's full that day and you are at Animal Kingdom, right. that's why that reservation <laughs> is going void because they won't even let you in even if you have a reservation. You wow. have to actually have the reservation for that particular park. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. It's crazy. You know, maybe the option, like Holly mentioned her friend drinking, maybe the option is that we just forget the parks and drink at the hotel and just say, call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's, just the, maybe that's just the alternative, you know? Oh, man. I know, I'm like, I am so glad that I do not have a trip planned to Disney World because I would be a wreck trying to figure out, especially <laughs> – like I said, we have a big family, so I would be so stressed out to fly six hours and oh, yeah. not know, are we going to get into the park? Is, are we going to be able to ride anything? Is anything going to be opened? Can we eat? Are we going to be, <laughs> is there going to be any options to eat? I don't know. So, well, and I, I, I tell you what, Holly, you actually have the correct getup on tonight. <laughs> um, because, Poco Loco, yes. <laughs> because, because after the fact, I would even attempt to try to do Disney World. I'm going to feel like being in the afterlife because it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now at Disney World, that you can't park sure. hop, and I don't like that. At Universal, you can park hop. I still don't see the issues, but uh, would anyone care to explain why you can't park hop? Because you have to have a reservation. Right, like, yeah. How yeah. It's, like, you know, yeah so, it's like right now, it's yeah. almost like Disney had already anticipated on everybody and their grandmother coming back. <laughs> Yeah, you know, as soon as the gates open, and it's like to be able to have crowd control, it's like okay, we can't keep track of who's park hopping where at what time on what day, so let's just keep it at that. But I mean, I had mentioned this um, before that as far as like with Epcot goes, they're already going through how much construction. Future World is completely almost practically bulldozed. I don't even know why they just didn't keep Epcot closed. Closed. Mm -hmm. Finish it and then reopen it. This was the best time since construction came back online. Yeah. You know, take the time while no one is in the park. It's like, okay, we'll wait till we open the gates and then we'll start construction. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I have one day left on my SoCal three-day resident park hopper ticket. And I feel like now I can't. I'm only going to be able to go to one park. That's terrible. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is, I Especially wonder... here, you know, California Ventures may be 100 feet away from Disneyland. <laughs> so how would you not want to just cross mm, if you're a pass holder or you have the park hop? Yeah. So disappointing. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, that is completely different. And I wonder I... how they're going to work that. And especially for those that have already paid. I know they said... You can make phone calls, but are they going to give you like a twenty dollar refund, or I mean, are they just going to say? As far as with so the park too bad. goes, as far as the park hopper goes, if only you had purchased a park hopper ticket, they will switch it or refund you, as you said, like 
twenty dollars, <laughs> you know, whatever. But, yeah. That uh, but as far as like churro, even even. an annual pass, <laughs> <A> churro. <laughs> Oh, it's like maybe free, two. A free churro on yeah. Disney. Free churro on Disney. The pie 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 should just not even, not even send the up. twenty bucks back. Maybe just like send you a free churro and then just be done with it. So. Yeah. you know, like yeah, sure. and maybe it's maybe it's different for like Walt Disney World people, but for like me, like I'm a Disneyland guy, and I just I just hate this over planning. I just want to go yeah. to the park. <laughs> Like, like I don't need to like plan every minute of of the of the day or reserve thing. I just want to go and hey, yeah. if we feel like eating over at this place, let's go to that place. If we feel like riding that ride, let's ride that ride. I don't want my whole day planned and reserved. And oh, we have <laughs> reservations for this and that. I just feel like it's just a bigger pain in the butt. Now, than- Christopher, mm-hmm. let me ask you because you said that you're one that just likes to go in for like a few hours you know, that's the bonus of having an annual pass and being yeah. now with this reservation system is, are you going to feel <laughs> obligated to say, yeah. you know, it took me this long to get this. <laughs> Should I be there from like dawn till dusk? Oh yeah. No, I'm going to change the way I approach it. I, I've already yeah. actually, uh, like me and me and my girl, I actually made me and my girlfriend, um, hotel reservations in September for uh, at the Grand Cali. Oh, uh, geez, he's splurging. Yeah, I'm oh, splurging. Wow. I'm splurging yeah, because I, I, I want it. I'll just spend like two days there and just go, you know, because I don't know. I don't know how often I'm going to go otherwise. Like, I don't know if I can get in like any other day, especially with Disneyland because everything like books out really quick out here, yeah. you know? So are you going to get a different pass? Do you think? Do you think you're going to change to a more, less, inex, you know, an expensive pass? considering uh, what's happening or i will if like like for example like in shanghai the reservation system is still part of the lockdown so the the clock doesn't start ticking yet mm-hmm. on their passes you know yeah if they do that here i'm totally cool if this doesn't count as part of like okay now you're now it's open and 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 we're still gonna you know push out that um that expiration date you know yeah. whenever the park's actually open not with reservations I'll completely, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this past. But if it doesn't, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to downgrade because there's really no point in having a signature plus with no black right. dates if you have to reserve every day anyway. You know? Yeah, that you can't I, just wake up in the morning and go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, exactly. I watched, I watched your video on that and I have a question for you. Now, if that would be the case of how they do it like in Shanghai and your pass is completely on hold until the reservation system is lifted, but wouldn't you then still have to purchase single tickets in order to get the reservation system oh that's a good question i don't know how that works in shanghai actually i don't know if your annual pass is still valid during that lockdown like so, that lockdown so they period. could still possibly use their annual pass but yeah not being charged for i it. thought that they had to buy day passes in shanghai that's but yesterday i read that they're giving annual pass holders an additional month for free. Yes, I saw that too. I saw that. Too. They're adding that at the end, an additional month. So, wow. um, and they said that will be added in our apps around October. They're going to go ahead and add the month. I, if I would have kept my pass, my pass would have then expired January 20th of 2021. But from now till then, I don't have nothing planned. So yeah. that would have been money wasted for me anyway. So that's why I opted for the partial refund. But now that D- Disney is allowing you to cancel your whole entire pass and get even the refund even beyond the park's opening date, then that's where I'm kind of going back and forth because what I was actually going to try to do was make it out to Disneyland god willing one more time before August 20th <laughs> yeah and, and that's why i was trying to figure out this new reservation system because i was going to yeah. attempt it i was really going to attempt it before august 20th to come out to disneyland to use my pass one last time but if i don't get no reservations then there's no point of me keeping my pass even up until then mm-hmm. right. yeah yeah, it's it's a rough situation all around. Uh, I hopefully we get a little more clarity soon um, from Disneyland. Um, 
I thought we were getting that today with that email, <laughs> but they faked this out. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. They're like, oops, we sent the same email twice. We were supposed to send this yeah. one. We'll just send it tomorrow. <laughs> pretty funny yeah we should be getting something really soon because they're not much behind disney world so yeah. it should be coming out i would say in the next couple of days yeah now ethan you shared and you texted me that that article about the union about the, the cast members oh. are sending a letter to i guess governor newsom to to yes the to union consider. they uh, they sent it to him so Push it back, push it back, they say. No. <laughs> and with the with the only downtown Disney and the hotels confirmed to reopen, I hope he's not considering. Oh. Well, I mean, that would. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but how would they open the hotels, and not have the parks though? That would seem luck. You know, like yeah. Luck. You know. You. But just like how you. You said, never like know you, these days. Just how you said yeah. earlier for the 65th anniversary, everyone just stay in their hotel rooms and drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There you go. That works. I mean, anything is possible these days, right? Like, we've seen it all this year. Yeah. I think they're still going to go forth with the 65th anniversary of reopening. I, really I hope so. Every time I post about it, I get like five people have arguments. I them. saw that. It's like, <laughs> like it's like, dang. It's like, wow. Are my, are my friends, You're like, I'm just like... sharing the information. It's not my opinion. <laughs> Like, you're yeah. selfish for wanting it to reopen. Oh. I'm like, okay, hold on. And then just, <laughs> I agree. I'm like, first of all, you don't even have a pass here. You're not good. I mean, these people, are like, I know them. Uh, the person that are like close, not, one's my close friend, one's my not. It's like, first of all, you don't even go anywhere. So you're not even going. So shut up. <laughs> the other people, I guess, were cast members, but I'm like, oh, okay, then just stay home. Or if you, you could say, members, it, you could say, if you value our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Well, doesn't like, Newsom have those like one billion face masks he's got to get rid of? So I'm sure he'll open the park. There you go. More, more opportunity yeah, for face mask usage. <laughs> there you go. Sure exactly. Because what's the name? The San Diego's uh, Safari Park reopened. It's a major place. So, you know, I feel like July 1st yeah. got this. Yeah. I know. I'm still waiting for Legoland. I haven't heard anything. I know that they opened like their little teeny tiny aquarium, but I haven't. Have you heard anything about Legoland? Oh, nothing says that July 1st with SeaWorld Day. Yeah. July 1st is a week and a half. So hopefully, uh, although I, he, I heard Newsom was developing a whole theme park guiding guidance thing. So I think oh, when he boy. releases that, Oh, I'm scared. Looking, <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm scared. It better <laughs> include Disneyland opening on July 17th. That's all I got to say. Because yeah. yeah, let's see. SeaWorld, Legoland, Six Flags, and that's four theme parks. Why so reopen July 1st? So I think he's going to reopen. Do like I mean, me personally, things. I mean, this is what I would have done. I would have started with Disneyland first. Because being that Disneyland was mm -hmm. a, is a locals park, mm -hmm. it's smaller. That let that be like the testing ground to see how it goes. Open it up on July 17th. And then for Walt Disney World, open it on October 1st. Because that way, with a big resort like that, they wouldn't have to worry about the summer crowds if they really yeah. wanted to try to start off slow. That's what that's my opinion. Yeah, I would have never thought that Disney World was going to open before Disneyland and even yeah. just like a week apart. I would have never, I thought 100%. Disneyland was going to be open like <laughs> June fifteenth, and Disney World. Dude, way I past hope that. it was open June fifteenth. I'd already be there by now. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people thought it was actually going to be June first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so much. And for then that Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Do does anybody know? I thought I read it, they were saying close to like October or something. Does oh. that? They, wow. I think they said twenty twenty one. You know, oh, well, see, the the Orange County Register thing said because Cedar Fair said some of their parks could be closing till 2021, and then the Orange County Register thing they put that headline and then immediately put Knott's Bay Farm is now closed until 2021, even though Knott's Bay Farm didn't say that. They just <laughs> assumed because Cedar Fair said that, even though Cedar Point, their largest park, is open already in Ohio, mm -hmm. so the four largest parks is are going to reopen. I feel like. Knots will be open sometime soon because I mean, every yeah, it is. 
It's maybe something I, just, like... I should just head up to Sandusky, Ohio and hit the Millennium Force. You should. <laughs> it's waiting for you. It's back open with a reservation system as well. <laughs> <laughs> the fact the only thing I think, yeah, the only theme park is the Universal Hollywood out here, I think, without a reservation system. Knott's has one, Six Flags has one, SeaWorld. I'm not sure about the SeaWorld. There, see, even, even Holly is requesting a reservation system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to go visit Holly's house, you have to have a reservation system. <laughs> and Chris's <laughs> house and my house. No, I'm implementing a reservation system. <laughs> it's like, I don't want the headache. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, come on over for some drinks. Well, I'll have a reservation system so we can wait to see when the reservation system opens. Yeah. To you, man. Right? Uh, well, well. I know. Thank you all of you for joining on here. We have, oh wow, about 80 seconds left. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you all for <laughs> joining. Subscribe to Orange Wheel 55. Go listen to the Grand Social Tour podcast and follow their Facebook page. And uh, follow them on Facebook. I don't know if they want you to do that, but you should check them out. <laughs> but, but enjoy and subscribe below. Woo! 10, 60 seconds.